Process planning is the listing and organization of the tools required to complete all machining operations performed in one setup. The key to successful process planning is understanding available cutting and machine tools as well as common machining processes. The first step in all process planning is examination of the completed part print. The first process is always the inspection of the raw material. Since allowing any undersized raw material onto the shop floor will just waste time and money. The next step is to determine if the currently available machines and tooling are capable of making the part to completion or if new machines and cutting tools are required if the parts are to be manufactured in-house then each part will need to be examined to determine the minimum number of setups which will be required to complete the machining and inspection of the part. Once a machined datum has been created, as much as possible it should be used for the location of the part throughout all further machining operations. This will help ensure minimal variation from the required geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. Often parts will have machining operations which could be performed with equal accuracy from more than one setup. When this is the case, the cycle time of each operation should be considered so that each machining operation takes as close to the same time as the other. This can help minimize bottlenecks in the manufacturing environment. For example, let's examine this crankshaft. The raw material will likely be a casting and it may not all need to be machined. The first process for this part would be to inspect the raw casting. A visual inspection for cracks, porosity, missing features, and other flaws would be performed. Then a vernier caliper, or possibly even a ruler, could be used to ensure there is enough material for machining. The next step, or the first machining process, would most likely be to turn the green surfaces on a lathe. These surfaces should now be used as the main datum to locate the part for the remaining machining operations. Next, the dark blue surfaces could be machined on a milling machine. The turquoise holes could also be drilled on the mill or in a separate drill jig. The last two machining processes would be to machine the magenta cross holes and the surfaces shown in red. Each of these would require their own setup, therefore their own process planning. However, the order in which they are performed does not matter as they are independent operations. When creating process plans, always remember each part is unique and will require its own process planning. If possible, keep the cycle time of each operation roughly equal and use the same datum surfaces as much as possible for the location of each operation to minimize deviation in the geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. Next, I'll examine common tools used in many machining operations. 